Hi, my name is David Use, and I wanted to go through the procedures for saving digital files from your sources as you're doing searches. Um, I want to go through a few items here. Um, first of all, uh, most of you will get to this uh, type of source, and here's an example of an 1880 census in Lake County, Ohio. Um, if you want to download and save this, you would normally push download. And if you don't change any other settings, what this will do is save the image to your downloads folder. And if you use File Explorer, you would find um, those files right here um, in your downloads folder. And um, we can see that here. And um, I did it a few times just to um, make sure it was working. And um, that might not be the most convenient because now you will have to take this and move it to a different location. So I recommend um, changing the settings in your browsers. Uh, what you would do is for Chrome, you hit these three dots, go to Settings, go to Downloads, and then um, change to ask where to save each file before downloading. And when you do this, then it won't automatically go to that uh, Downloads folder. You can then direct where you want to place the file, and you can rename it at that time. Um, let me also show you, I do have Edge up. Um, Edge has uh, three dots also. You click on the three dots, go to settings, uh, and then downloads, and then ask me what to do with each download, and you switch that. I recommend that just to um, make the process easier. So what I was going to do was to go through each of the major um, repositories and show you the download procedure. So you would go download. Now it's going to ask you where to save it. Um, I rec I'm more comfortable. Um, some people like to have these um, icons. I like to use list. I have a, um, a file tree folder which I usually organize by name, um, last name first, and then I also put the birth year in parentheses so I can distinguish uh, between different uh, similar name people. And this um, this file was downloaded for Harriet Wilder. Um, I also for any um, person, I have a subfolder. This is just me. And I put all my original downloads into that folder. Uh, then I go and, which will be a separate video, which is alter the image to add a citation and information of where I obtain that image. And only after I add that citation information do I put it into the main folder here. And this is just to make sure I've um, annotated those um, images. Again, I'll go through that in a different video. So I'm going to put it here and I renamed the, um, uh, the file. So um, 1880 census uh, for um, Harriet Wilder. And I usually put in the, at least the county and state, and that's um, Lake County, Ohio. And um, let me just put this. I wouldn't normally put this in, but uh, since we're going to be uh, bringing down different files, this is coming from Family Search. So um, I'd save this file. Um, then, um, so Family Search has a download button that works just um, great, uh, real simple. 
uh, this is Ancestry. Ancestry, you use the Save button and go to Save to your computer. And um, just because I saved a file to this uh, original downloads folder before, it's the same place. So um, I'm going to cheat here and um, uh, just click on a s previous uh, named file. And then um, this is the Ancestry um, version of that same file. Um, for my heritage, um, a little different. Um, what you'll get in in uh, my heritage is here's the uh, results for Harriet Wilder, and I would expand it. Uh, when you use this download button, it does not download directly. It creates a new tab, and either here or in that previous one. The only way I see to do this is to, in Windows, is use a right click on the image and do it, save image as. And then you, again, get a copy of that file. And um, in fact, let me uh, just go here, uh, switch it so I can see these. And this is um, my heritage and save that. Um, let me go back to this other tab here, which is this previous photo. It turns out if you just do this save image as, um, you'll see, let me expand this out so I can see the different, uh, and we're just going to call this um, second one of these. Um, when you save that, um, it is going to, and I can show you this, it'll um, look exactly the same. Um, uh, let me go to the example tree, and you'll find that the, um, the image, the file is the exact same size. It, it's very good quality. Um, so I don't know why they don't have something that's more direct, but um, that's how I do it with uh, my heritage. But you can see it's the exact same file image um, either way from either location. Okay, um, so let's go back. Um, then the last location is find my past. Um, as you can see here, this is uh, again um, the census record for Harriet Wilder. And again, right up at the top here, there is a download record button. And you click on it. And this one is more direct, like Ancestry and Family Search. Um, and this is from Find My Past. Um, find my past. Um, so here we've saved all these images. Now, if you find a location, maybe it's not in one of the big repositories, maybe it's an archive, and they don't have a download button, always try what I did with um, uh, with my heritage, which is right click. Uh, I, I apologize, but I'm not a Mac user, uh, but uh, it should have similar options. But if you go save image as, um, you can um, save this. And let me just find my past period while there. Uh, just saving this so that we can see. Uh, interesting, this is saving as a PNG file, which is a lossless format. But um, let me go back um, and take a look at that image. And um, 
you know, comparatively, it is a lower resolution image. So, um, a small, much smaller f file than the other fi Find My Past file. So, the download from my Find My Past is preferred. But again, if if you absolutely don't have this option, um, you can try that right click. The uh, the least preferred option is to do a screenshot of the image. And I'll show you here, I'm just adjusting the size. You can use the uh, print screen button um, or in uh, Windows 10, you do Shift Windows S and you can actually, you can um, uh, grab a section of the screen and normally if I wasn't recording the screen, the, a box would come up and I could click it right away and then save the image uh, to my disk or to the folder that I want to save. Anyway, that's not the preferred. It's going to give you the lowest quality image. But anyway, I just want to go through different methods of saving uh, these digital images. Again, you have one more step after saving these images, which is annotating the images for long-term storage in your family history research. Thank you.